Hello everyone, this is Inspire2016. We would like to give you a free tarot card reading focusing on your love life and your relationship. This tarot card reading will give you an update of your love life, including your past, your present, and your future uh, relationship card uh, reading. So the way we laid out the card, we will draw four cards for you. So the first card will represent your past love life and the second card will represent your present conditions of your love life and then the third card will represent your future position of your love life and the last card will represent as a guidance card that represent the direction of your love life will be headed into for the next future. So I hope that you enjoy the reading and if you like the reading just click like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Hello Cancer, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly love and relationship reading for the week commencing the 20th of March until the 26th of March 2017. The first card for you is representing the past position of your love life. Your card is the Two of Pentacles. In the past, you might need to find balance between opposing desires and interests in your current relationship. Life will always be uncertain, yet if you can produce balance and harmony among all the demands upon you, you will ultimately live happily and in prosperity. Thus, the Two of Pentacles serves as a reminder to remain alert, agile and patient as you attempt to juggle your family, your friends, work, finances, health and new challenges. You need to be very clear on your priorities and where you want to invest your time and energy. There is a tendency to be distracted by day-to-day -day affairs and general busyness, so prioritizing your activities and carefully managing your time is essential. The Two of Pentacles brings you back down to earth and reminds you to not only focus on your broader life goals but to also make sure your day-to-day -day affairs are in order. This is a card of good time management and financial management, ensuring that your bills are paid on time, that you keep a record of all your appointments and daily commitments etc. It may sound tedious having to focus your attention on these more mundane issues but this card reminds you that sometimes getting on top of your daily affairs is as important as pursuing your broader life goals. Sometimes, the Two of Pentacles can indicate that there are problems and difficulties in the future. There may be obstacles erected which hinder the attainment of what you wish to pursue or obtain in life. The situation may cause undue worry and again, you will be required to juggle your priorities and manage your time effectively to stay on top of the situation. Similarly, the Two of Pentacles predicts change. You need to be able to cope with change, remaining flexible and adaptable in your approach. Rather than putting all your eggs in one basket, you may be better to keep two or more things going at once so you have the luxury of choice, should one option fall through. You must stay centered while you stay flexible and keep informed. Look for new possibilities, be open to change and go with the flow as best you can. The second card for you is representing, your present love life. Your card is, the Two of Cups. There is a beautiful start to a new romance in which you experience understanding, harmony and deep love between two souls. The seed has blossomed into a tree of appreciation. Kindness and thoughtfulness will bind your two hearts together with the feeling of being simultaneously very special to one another. This card can also refer to marriage, proposals and engagements particularly as this card portrays what looks like a wedding or hand fasting. It is a reflection of commitment between two individuals, to say that they will go through life together, always considerate of each other's needs and wishes. This card typically points towards a relationship that is based on mutual attraction and romantic inclinations. It reflects the clear, nurturing, supportive and heartfelt exchange of emotions that is the gift of a romantic relationship. 
The Two of Cups represents love that is nurturing, creative, clearly focused, inspirational and equally fulfilling. Outside of love, the Two of Cups reflects a partnership of sorts, be it a business partnership, friendship or even a relationship between a person and their pet. On first glance, the Two of Cups shares a similar message to the lovers. However, the energy of the Two of Cups is slightly weaker than the lovers card. Whereas the lovers is the reunion of two complete beings, the Two of Cups is a less mature union that, stable as it may seem, does have the potential to come undone over a longer period of time. So, while the union is strong now, it is not clear whether the relationship shown by the Two of Cups can stand the test of time. Only the two people involved can decide that. Despite the focus on the two beings shown on this card, the Two of Cups also points to what is happening within the individual. To be truly loved, deeply treasured and valued highly by others, you must first and foremost strive to create those feelings for yourself. That is, when you work toward loving yourself, you hold your inner spirit in higher regard, treating it with deference and deep respect. When you see yourself in this positive light, other people cannot help but respond to your personal sense of value in an equally positive manner. The third card for you is representing, the future of your love life. Your card is. The Six of Cups. You want to return to the happy memories of your past, whether as a child, teenager or adult. Oftentimes, though, these memories are indeed a thing of the past and reflect aspects of your life that have since vanished. You may feel that the only way to connect to this happiness is to escape into the past where you can reflect on your happy and beautiful memories, instead of dealing with current challenges. This is fine if you are simply taking a walk down memory lane but it is important that you live in the present and accept your current circumstances rather than always living in the past. Oftentimes, there is nothing wrong with looking back at the good times for inspiration when things are not going so well. In the midst of change and crisis, the Six of Cups suggests that looking back at what you have endured is a good way to assure yourself that, whatever trials lay ahead, you will meet them and you will overcome them as you overcame others. After losses such as those on the Fives, the Six of Cups suggests that you need to take time out to heal, look back on the past and all the good that lies there. During this period of reflection, there is no need to focus on the negative. Instead, bring all of the positive energy from the past into your present and your future. The fallen cups are now full and upright again but with blooming flowers that cannot be spilled or washed away. Now that you have looked back, the way forward will be clear and enlightening. The Six of Cups can represent a return to a familiar environment or to a childhood place. You may return to your hometown, to your parents' house, to your high school or even kindergarten. You could be going to a high school reunion or reconnecting with a childhood acquaintance. A teenage sweetheart or past lover may turn up again. Allow yourself positive, nostalgic memories of childhood, friends and family. If you can, spend time with younger people. The Six of Cups can also point to your inner child and suggests a need to experience childlike joy. The child you were still lives within you and must be cared for. This is often referred to as working with your inner child. People with persistent problems such as addiction, depression, troubled relationships and chronic dissatisfaction can transform their lives within a child work and find a new joy and energy in living. The source of your problems may be in past events that are triggered in the present. We are made up of many parts and inside we still have the little child and adolescent we were with all of its experiences and feelings. This can lead to the inner child reacting strongly to certain experiences, situations and feelings in the present, based on experiences of the past. 
working with your inner child and getting to know where these feelings come from can change that and enhance your choices in miraculous ways. When we are being playful, spontaneous, creative, intuitive and surrendering to the spiritual self, our genuine authentic self, who we know deep within us, our real self is being welcomed and encouraged to be present. The last card for you is guidance for your love life. The guidance card for you is. You are safe. When you see this card, it is a reminder that you are completely protected in this situation. Although you may feel vulnerable, the angels want you to know that allowing yourself to become preoccupied with your fears only serves to reinforce them. Your sensitive indigo body and energy are magnets. Although it's easy to absorb and hold on to other people's energy, the angels want to work with you as a team to clear and shield your body, your home, and the world at large. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get uh, instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.